Hey guys, welcome back to my pose creation series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Blender to make uh, poses using multiple rigs uh, for couple poses or for group poses, for example. Um, there's actually two methods of how you can do this. The first is you can use the multi-rig Blender files that came with the rig downloads that you already have. Or you can make your own custom combination of uh, different rigs uh, using the append option. Now the main difference between these is that the first option only comes with a set amount or a, a set combination of different rigs that you can use. For example, there is a adult male to adult female file that you can use, but this doesn't allow for certain combinations such as uh, two adult females interacting or for even anything more than just two uh, rigs at the same time. If you want to have more than two rigs, you're going to have to use uh, the append option. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is the multi-rig blender files that came with uh, your rig downloads. So I am going to go to where I have them. So uh, I have all my my rigs separated like this, but you will find them in the uh, the multi-rigs folder that that came with your all your rigs. And inside you'll see uh, a list that looks like this. Um, how you know which is which is the, the prefix included. So A to A is um, an adult to adult, A to A, A to B is adult to baby, A to C is adult to child, A to P is adult to toddler, C to B is child to baby, C to P is child to toddler, and P to B is toddler to baby. So that gives you a fair selection of options of uh, various different interactions, but as I said before, it doesn't allow for uh, adult female to female because, for instance, this uh, this adult to adult file is the adult male to the adult female. But I'm going to go ahead and open that to show you. So this is what the multi-rig file will look like once you open it up. As you can see, there's two different uh, rigs here in the file that you can work with. And exporting a, a poses off of these rigs is very similar to just working with the one rig. And I'll show that to you very quickly. So I'm going to just quickly move these uh, these poses so they're a little bit different. And then uh, I'm just going to lock rot each. Now this is very important. You need to make sure to lock rot each before saving them out of Blender. So as I did in the uh, the third video in this series, I'm going to select all the all the joints by tapping the A key, hit I, hit lock rot and then all the joints on this rig are saved. But that didn't do it for the other rig, so I have to do that as well. So, A, I, lock rot. But at this point, I can go ahead and actually save these clips. It's, it's very simple. So I'll make sure I have uh, the correct rig selected. So I want to save the, the male pose. So I'll hit A to make sure I have that rig selected. Go to the right panel on the side, hit save clip and then just type in a pose name. So I'll do pose A for this one. And then for the second, I'll do pose B. So the last thing that I would like to mention before I show you the other method is uh, an actual advantage to using uh, this particular rig um, to making multi-poses or making a couple's pose. And that's that uh, you might notice that when you open it up they are always a, a set distance apart and this is done for a very specific reason um, you might notice that this is the exact distance that uh, sims are at when they're doing a social interaction in game which means that any uh, any pose or poses that you make uh, on these rigs at this point uh, if you play them in game and your uh, sims are at this distance apart uh, this social interaction distance, if they are idling between a social interaction, um, when you play these poses they will actually meet exactly how, how you have them on, uh, how you have them made in Blender. So you don't actually have to spend a whole bunch of time fidgeting trying to get the poses to fit together. Uh, if you have your sims do a social interaction and then idle and then you you play these poses, they will fit together exactly and perfectly, and that that will make your life a whole lot easier. But uh, it's it's not necessary, but it is kind of a nice advantage to using these rigs. 
So now I'm going to show you the second option. Uh, in this example I'm going to show you how to import two female adults into Blender in order to uh, use them to make poses. Uh, you can do this with any, any combination though and with any amount of rigs. So it can be very very versatile but it is a little bit tricky so just make sure you're paying close attention. So first I'm going to open up the adult female rig. Once it's open, uh, now I need to add in the second rig. To do this, uh, first I probably want to move her out of the way. So I'll just click her, uh, her root joint and just kind of drag her to the side. Because uh, when I load in the, the second rig, it is going to appear in the same spot. So I'm going to go to File, scroll down to the Append option, and click that. And then uh, I need to navigate to where my other rigs are. So here I am in my human rigs folder and of course I want to add another adult female rig. But I'm going to show you um, a problem that will happen if you try and load in the same rig that you're currently working with. If I double clicked this AF rig uh, to add in another adult female, as you can see nothing happens. This is because I obviously already have this file open. So that's, that's not going to do anything. So if I want another adult female, I need to minimize this and go ahead and uh, copy, make, make a copy of this file. So I'm just going to go control C and control V to make a copy of that file. So now what I can do is go back into Blender to go to File, Append, and then find that copy that you just made. So you'll double click that. And when you open that, a series of folders are going to appear. Most of them you can just completely ignore, but you'll want to go to the Object folder, double click that to open it, and a whole bunch of uh, items will appear, but the only ones that you need are the ones that are prefixed with AF. So, if you select AF body, make sure you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click each of these items to select them. And if, as you can see here, I only have the options selected that have AF. You don't need, really need the rest of them, so I'm not going to include them. Once those are selected, go to the top right and hit link append from library. And as you can see, it added a second rig to uh, Blender. But it's not really quite ready to work with as a as a pose yet. So, right click this uh this newly created rig. And you'll notice it's currently in object mode here at the bottom. If I try to uh click a joint to work with it's it's uh, the whole rig is currently yellow and it's only going to want to pivot at the bottom point here. So um, once it's selected, go to this menu here at the bottom left, click it, and select pose mode. And now it'll look a lot similar to the other rig. So now at this point you can start posing your rigs together and making another pose. But first I'm going to just show you you know how you can add in a, a third. So you can go to File, Append, I'm going to go back to the list, and I'm going to add in a child. Go to Object, find CU, and select all the objects to start with CU. Hit Append. I now have a child rig, but uh, it's currently in object mode, so I'll right click the rig. So it's yellow. Go to Object mode here at the bottom instead click pose mode. And now I can start posing the child rig as well. Now at this point you can start making your poses but uh, as I mentioned on the the previous uh, rigs you'll want to do the the same thing which is when you're finished making your poses so I'll just quickly change these rigs around. What you'll need to do in order to export all these poses is select a rig, go A lock rot, AI lock rot to uh, save the joints and do this for all of your rigs before you start saving them and then you'll need to save each one individually so for the child rig I'll go save clip start it with C Coleco test save to my desktop and then continue on with the, the rest you know going back to save clip and typing in the title Alright guys, so that's pretty much all you need to know about making multi-rig poses. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave them on this video or send them to my Tumblr. Uh, I hope this was helpful and you guys have fun making poses. See you later.